good team, but they just make too many mistakes, like I said, and those mistakes are not going to help you win championships. Oh my. What? 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 Like how? I am here. My name is Raquel. Welcome back to my channel. Channel? What is a channel? <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Raquel here with So Beautiful Me Sports Takes. Welcome back to my channel. Of course, if this is not your first time, please make sure you do me a favor. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you know, you get notifications, all that good stuff. And of course, share my content if you like it. So I'm doing a quick video and I'm kind of doing an impromptu video because I mean, I haven't been on here and y'all know how I am, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. I am trying to learn how to be a better content creator, but that's neither here nor there. As you know, by the title, we're talking about the NBA finals and some playoffs. Now I did make a whole entire video of the second round and then didn't post it because I couldn't have time to edit it. And it wasn't even that I didn't have time to edit it. I just don't do things in a timely manner. So then I was like, oh, it's too late. The second, I mean, the conference finals had already started. So you're late. Per usual. Anyways, we already know now that the conference finals is over, right? You had the Celtics and the Heat, and then you had the Mavs and the Warriors. What a conference finals. First and foremost, the Warriors did exactly what I thought they were going to do to the Mavs, which was beat them in five games. If you would have seen the video, you would have known I predicted that. But that's neither here nor there. I still give credit to the Mavs and Luka what they did. Very impressive run in the playoffs. I still think that Luka got so much disrespect, especially to the media who are prisons in moment, as I said before, who tried to say that Luka wasn't as talented and as good as he actually is. And he basically carried and willed his team, but didn't have enough and doesn't have enough stars overall for him to be effective, especially against a veteran team like the Warriors. So you know now that the Warriors are in the finals. Now let's take it over to the East. Now in the East, you had the Heat and the Celtics, which was actually a better series than I expected. But my thing about it is, is again, the Heat did not deserve to be there. I was just so happy. And I know people are going to be like, they went to seven. I don't give a fuck that they went to seven games. They went to seven games because Boston is incompetent at times. They're still a young team who makes a lot of mistakes. Hence why I believe that the Boston Celtics will not be able to beat the Celtics in the finals because they're just not smart. But that does not determine that the theory that I keep saying is that the fraud that is the Miami Heat, they would have gotten beaten by Joel Embiid if Joel Embiid was actually healthy by the Sixers part of me. With that being said, I was just happy when they lost. I don't care if it went to a game seven. The Celtics play around a lot and that's on them that they had not closed that out at home. But I was very happy that they actually did beat them. So there's a lot of people who are like, oh, the Heat deserved to win. The Heat came back. I don't know if you guys watch games, but in game seven, the Celtics controlled the entire game. They were up by double digits most of the game. The Celtics problem is, is why I choose the um, Warriors, even though the Celtics are better defensively and would possibly give the Warriors trouble. It's because the Celtics do this thing where anytime they have a lead, they get a little bit complacent. Not only do they get complacent, they try to run the clock down. They stop being aggressive. And I don't know if they think that the other players are just going to stop playing on the other team. But it's not going to happen. And they constantly do it. And because they consistently do that, they consistently put themselves, consistently, pardon me, put themselves in a position to let any team come back. So the thing is, the Heat was never that good. So that's why they never got over that hump in game seven. And I get it. Jimmy Butler took a bad shot or he could get three pointer. He tried to win. Guess what? Jimmy Butler, for me, is still not that man. Now, I will say, he gave he gained a little bit more respect in this series for being a little bit less of a punk, which is, you know, he started off the series, wasn't really showing up. Then he showed up one game, doesn't show up the next game. You know, it's the Jimmy Butler syndrome. Regardless, he took a three when he had every opportunity to drive it in and get two. Because guess what? The Heat were only down for two. But that's neither here nor there because I'm so glad that they're out of it. Because one once again, they have a cocky fan base full of idiots who really don't understand basketball and really don't understand injuries factored into why their team always capitalizes when it comes to the playoffs. I digress. <laughs> Anyways, so now we're here and we're at the finals. What is my finals predictions? It's pretty easy. The Warriors will beat the Celtics. The Celtics will lose in five to six games. And I say this because, again, the Celtics are very good defensively. The Celtics have been surprisingly one of the best teams, but they do not play basketball good for a consistent 48 minutes. And the Warriors, they are too much of a champion bred team that they're going to take advantage of 
all those mishaps. So I think we're gonna get a definitely a competitive series and it's way better than it would have been if it was the Heat and the Warriors competitiveness because guess what? The Warriors would have definitely swept the Heat and or beat them in five, but it would have been in blowouts and complete dominant games because the Heat is incompetent. I said what I said and I meant it. But the issue I have is, is with the Celtics. The Celtics are just not ready. They're not ready to be champs because they do too many things that the Warriors are going to capitalize after. I love Jason Tatum's play, but you know, you contain Jason Tatum, get these other guys to miss some shots, and the Warriors are the Warriors. They are playing phenomenal basketball on their home court. I don't even think they've lost in playoffs on their home court. Yeah, I don't think they have. So I don't see the Celtics beating this team. I don't see the Celtics getting more than one game. I feel like the Celtics are going to lose the first two games in uh, Oakla Oakland. Pardon me. And then they're going to go home and they're going to win one game. Give their fans some false hopes. Then they're going to lose the next two games. That's my prediction. Or the Celtics could surprise me and get another uh, win because the Celtics are, you know, they're competitive. They're not completely silly. They're a good team, but they just make too many mistakes, like I said. And those mistakes are not going to help you win championships. Continuing to let teams back into the game, turnovers, bad passing, you know, just going through stretches and droughts where they don't score efficient and effectively. That is something that the Warriors are going to literally take advantage of and the Warriors have their faults too don't get me wrong the Warriors are also a team that can turn over and things of that nature and you know everyone has that dark cloud over Steph Curry Steph Curry never shows up in the playoffs or the finals hmm. this is going to be the year Steph Curry comes up and he's going to dominate I just have that feeling I just something I think is going to happen he's going to be finals MVP he was already the Western Conference MVP as well as Jason Tatum I just got to say something I just want to tell you guys when I'm right, I'm right. And I've been right about Tatum. And it's so amazing because so many people tried to say he wasn't him. So many people tried to say he peaked. So many people say he wasn't this and that. Well, guess what? Now you guys are going to watch him at only 24 years old be in the finals. And he's carried his team. He is the best player on the team without a doubt, without any shadows, without any complaints. But it's just more impressive that he doesn't just sit there and need everyone to say he's the best he's let his game do the talking so <laughs> when I told you guys he's a future goat after Giannis finishes this generation I said what I said and I meant it and yes I do believe Luca will be right there with him running this league I think the league is going to be Curry Giannis Luca Jason Tatum but when I say I think Jason Tatum is going to do things that people don't know I mean that and he's going to do it in a Lakers uniform that's why I'm hoping the Boston Celtics lose either. I mean, lose too, because we get him in a few years. But if the Celtics were to somehow win, I think he's loyal and he would stay with them. And I don't need that. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys feel like is going to win these finals? What are your predictions for like the rounds? Is it going to be, do you guys see the Celtics winning? Do you guys see the um, Warriors winning? Or do you guys see this going into seven game series? you know, let me know. Let me know. Anyways, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all the love you guys have been showing recently on all my videos. I feel like I'm going to be a content creator. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing start to the summer and you're enjoying the playoffs. I actually have, and I'm a Laker fan. And you know what? I love basketball, so I don't need to just you know, only watch it when the Lakers play. That's called a homer. That's called somebody who doesn't actually like the game. You know who you are. A lot of you are like that. But then you guys are telling people who actually love the game for and players that we're fake because, you know, we're still watching and we're still cheering on players for playing great. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up sometimes. You're so stupid and lame. And I already did a little clip of why I think you're lame. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.